This is the Gaumont British News, presenting the world to the world. The Minister of Supply has had another man-to-man -man talk with the men from the factories. This time he addressed a huge gathering of shop stewards from the Clyde. Now we it's a long cry from the last war the events that now confront us. But you will all concede that a very different war from the last time. Quite different altogether. In no respect are you facing the same situation. Liberties involved. Of that, not one of you in this audience has any doubt. Captivity is our lot if we fail in our defense this time. Lord Beaverbrook went on to explain one reason why there's a shortage of whiskey. It concerns a certain type of gun. But I regret to tell you that the propellant back of that gun is produced from alcohol. And alcohol, you know, is a constituent of Scotch whiskey. <laughs> And in effect, every time we fire one, that gun off at Hitler, we fire away six bottles of whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> and now here's a story of Dunkirk, when Mr. Churchill was listening to the BBC News Bulletin about the evacuation. He knew all the news, of course. Only once did I see him give a human touch to the bad side of the story that was being unfolded. <coughs> the wireless was going, giving us out the six o'clock news or the nine o'clock news or whatever it was, <coughs> telling the tale, he knew it all anyway, of course, but telling the tale of the evacuation of troops. Over he went to the wireless and turned it off and says, I'm going to get myself a gramophone. Well, the wireless is very pleasing to us now, for when we hear the news over it, good, pleasing, to our liking. But don't forget the day will come when we want the gramophone again. There's bound to be bad news. This war is a long and dreary process. Bomb us again, the enemy will, of course, sure to do so. But bombs can't end the war. We know that. We found it out in the terrible, bitter world of experience. Yesterday morning, I received a telegram. A telegram addressed to me. And I make bold to quote it to you. The telegram is from Stalin. And it reads, Feverbrook, let me express my gratitude for the sending of airplanes and tanks. Some of these British-made airplanes and tanks are already in action on the front line. I'm bound to tell you that I come to you to thank you for October production in all the principal, uh, all the principal output of the Ministry of Supply was a record. Yes. A great record. And this is the last day of November. On this day, the returns are rolling in to the Ministry of Supply, to my office, where my deputy is sitting and receiving them and compiling them for me. But this much I can tell you here and now that November is a big advance on October. Not only in tanks, but in guns and ammunition and the filling of ammunition in vehicles any way you like to take it. <laughs>